Hello, hey me. This is Liz. You'll never guess where I am. I'm on the very, very top of Binnacle Peak. I'm at 9343 feet above sea level. Yes, I know. How did you? I can see you. Where are you? Are you down in the valley looking up at me through binoculars? Wave your arms, so I can see you. No, I'm right beside you. You what? I said I'm right beside you. You're what? Are you all right? It took me six hours and twenty-five minutes to climb up here. How did you get up here so fast? I drove. You what? I said I got in my Buick and I drove up here. You mean there's a road? Yes, there's a paved road on the back side of the mountain. It comes all the way up to the peak. Well, that's not fair. I spent all day getting up here. I worked like a dog. That's the story of your life. Did you know that I was almost killed in a landslide? Actually, the landslide is why I came up here. The sheriff wants to talk to you. Hello. You didn't happen to see the no trespassing signs, did you? Yeah, they make great targets for my BB pistol. Hello. I'll bet I'm in trouble, huh? Pretty much. I didn't destroy any houses, did I? No, but you caused a flood. A flood? How did I cause a flood? The dirt from your landslide fell into somebody's swimming pool. Hello. Come on, I'll give you a ride down the mountain. How come you're all dressed up? I just came from church. Oh, yeah. You worship on Sunday. Well, I may have caused the landslide, but at least I didn't sin like you. And just how did I sin? Not worshipping on the Sabbath. That's the story of your life. That's the second time you've said that. What are you talking about? You've got enough to worry about. We'll talk about it later. No. I want to talk about it now. What is the story of my life? All right, if you insist. You always do things the hard way. Like what? Like this. You told me last night that you were going to the top of Pinnacle Peak to look at the view. Yeah. So? So, most people would look at a map to see if there's an easy way to get up here. A map? I never thought of that. Instead, you took all morning to make a trip that I made in ten minutes. Yeah, but you get more kudos if you do it the hard way. Do you know anybody else who climbed the front side of Binnacle Peak? You're the only one. See, I get bragging rights. But what does that have to do with the sin of worshipping on Sunday? First of all, it's not a sin to worship the Lord on any day. Okay, let me rephrase my question. What does that have to do with the sin of not worshipping on the Sabbath? Check your map. There's an easier way. You're not making any sense. First of all, the Sabbath was given to the Jews, not as Gentiles. The word Sabbath means rest. So even if you think the Sabbath applies to us, it means we're supposed to rest on the Sabbath, not worship. Wait a minute. The Bible doesn't say that. How would you know? Have you read the Bible? Well, no. No. It would be too easy to read the book. Let's do it the hard way. Let's work our way to heaven by keeping the Sabbath, whatever that means. All I know is that failing to worship on the Sabbath is the mark of the beast. Can you think of a single verse in the Bible that commands us to worship on the Sabbath? Well, no. But when I get back home, I'm going to start reading the Bible. Then you'll be sorry. Actually, I'll be quite pleased, but I can save you a lot of wasted effort. You won't find the word worship and the word Sabbath in the same sentence. I won't. No. We're supposed to worship the Lord all the time, not just one day a week. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing that somewhere. But worshiping on the Sabbath has to be good for something. You get more kudos if you do it the hard way. I knew you'd see it my way. Do you think kudos will make things better with the sheriff? I doubt it. Do you think kudos will work any better with the Lord? I see what you mean. 
but if keeping the Sabbath won't get you to heaven, what will? The Bible says that Jesus is our Sabbath rest. You mean if we have Jesus, we keep the Sabbath? Yes. That's way too easy. You could always try it, the hard way. No. Too many landslides. Based on a play by Bob Snook, Conditions for Use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from the performance. You may reproduce and distribute this freely, but all copies must contain this statement.